Digital Forensics said there is audio. This process. I mean, why are you keeping your client in the fucking dark? This process where the judge is sealing off material information in this case. I mean, you've already come to the media. You've already went to the public and you've said there's no audio in this dash camera. And now you want to seal off what findings come forward. We know, we know for a fact, Chad Mason tampered with that dash camera. I mean, he already admitted to he, it. He was reprimanded for it. Okay. He was reprimanded for it, for violating chain of custody, for taking a dash cam without a warrant and tampering with the I mean, files. That's what he admitted for. He admitted on the record that he took, he violated the chain of custody. He violated the department policy. He took possession of the dash camera, went back to his car, downloaded the files, Two days later, notified the Commonwealth attorney. So Prosecutor Sarah Sammy can't say that she didn't she know, know that he violated department policy, chain of custody. Two days later, decided to get a warrant. What are we talking about? Well, today we have a dash camera that has no audio. It's cut before impact, has 17 frames missing from inside of the vehicle. And they want to have a conversation about, well, let's look at Mustafa's reaction. You fucking took 17 frames from Mustafa's reaction while the camera outside is still rolling. What are you by talking the way, about? By the, by the way, I'll just add digital forensics. Do you, do you see what I'm talking about digital here? Digital forensics said there is audio. There you go. So why didn't Sarah Sammy... So they can't come out and say there's no audio now. Matter of fact, I have a letter from Zymus, Kathy Zymus of Digital Forensics with the Prince William County Police who took this dash camera and analyzed it. And she says there is audio. So how could you come to the public and tell the community there's no audio to this dash camera? How could you do that? And then for the judge today to come out and say... If there is audio, when they do get the audio, we're not going to tell the community. We're, we're going to seal it from the family. We're not going to be transparent. We're not going to inform the public of our lies, of our mistake. You fucked up. You lied to the community. And I think now it's time for you to face the consequences.